Okay, and I should have mentioned on here, before you start into the three-dimensional drawings, look on page 333. It shows you the 3D drawings, but first, before you do that, you need to master your three title blocks, okay, and how to lay them out on page 100. And then also, you need to master the three view drawings, which are also called orthographic projections, okay? So some people just call them multi-view, some call them three-view. It doesn't matter, but uh, super important that when we take these down, we get it just right because everything is going to be at a set angle of 30 degrees, which means you can't use this 45 degree triangle anymore. You have to use the 3060. The 45 degree triangle is the one that looks kind of like a rooftop. The 3060 is the one that looks more like a ramp. Okay, and I'm gonna look up here and go, if there's anyone not paying attention, I'm gonna put a mark by your name, you're gonna lose points, you're not gonna get a treat, so starting right now, I keep my eyes absolutely glued here, okay? So, the type of drawing we're doing is an oblique drawing, and on 333, it shows you the three types of three-dimensional drawings. Isometric, oblique, and perspectives. The easiest one is the oblique, because you're just drawing the front view and then adding depth to it. Okay, it is the easiest drawing, but it's not the most realistic because when you look directly at the front view of an object, you don't really see depth. So you get a little more complicated when you go into isometric and you tilt the object up at a 30 degree angle to allow you to see depth. Here's what I mean by this. Okay, on an isometric drawing, rather than looking directly at the front view, you tilt it up at a 30 degree angle to where you can actually see depth. Okay, so the very first drawing. And, and right now, I'm not going to worry about centering it because that's a whole nother lesson. But um, I, I will just say draw the front view just as you normally would with your centering box. And you have it in the lower, lower left corner. So your centering box is normally one and a fourth inches from the side, one inch from the top and the bottom. Okay and you just draw your front view just like you normally would. We will get into centering the object on the paper later on because that's a whole process in itself where technically you're supposed to find the middle of the work area, come down half the width, half the depth, half the height, but uh, we'll get into that later. So when we're doing like drawing one, for instance, it's a five inch long drawing. So I would draw five inches long here, one inch, depending on if you're looking at the book or if you're looking at the one on the paper, there are different dimensions, okay? And I just draw the regular front view, and then here's where things get a little tricky. You don't have to do a side view. You don't have to do a top view. You just add the depth. So here's my front view, it's up a half of an inch. I gotta erase some of my construction lines. And then, you add the depth once you have the front view here. And I always say draw everything light until it's right, but here's the exception, okay? With the, um, with the oblique drawing, I'm drawing it a little bit darker so you can see it up here. And now that I have my front view done, I'm going to take the triangle and add 30 degree lines at every corner. So at every corner, I add 30 degree lines. These are construction lines. So right now I'm not measuring them. I'm just making them go up at 30 degrees on each corner. Construction lines. Now I go back and I measure the depth, okay? And the depth of the object is one and a half inches. So I measure that one, one and a half inches. I measure down here, this line is called a non-isometric line. So I have to look at the front view here, and I go on the front view, this line's going straight across. So back here, parallel line going straight across. This line on the front view is going straight up. So on here, I just go straight up, okay, to this point and then I connect them. Okay, so it's, that, that's no certain angle, 
that is just connecting from this point to this point. And this one is called oblique. In the book, it's on page 337. Okay, here's another thing that's a little bit different. When you do your dimensioning, you make the line going parallel. You know how uh, before, if you were doing a dimension line, which uh, the two types of lines I was gonna talk about today up here on the board are dimension lines and extension lines. So I go over here, the extension line extends out from the object, but it doesn't touch it. And then the dimension line is now parallel to that. So I make a line going here and a line going here with arrowheads going the same direction as the line there. And then I put the D on there for depth, okay? The H for height is still going straight up and I have an extension line here. Okay, so this is the introduction to 3D drawings. The oblique is the easiest one. It's not completely accurate because like I said, when you're looking at this, uh, it's funny how everything's going 3D now. I was saying how I just ordered these new filaments for the 3D printer and I saw a thing this weekend that said that they're having this convention and it said this convention is live in 3D. And when they said live in 3D, they meant in person. It's not like looking at a flat screen or a monitor on Zoom, you're live in person in 3D, okay? And think about that, 3D, three dimensional, shows all three dimensions, depth, width, and height, okay? The other thing I saw this weekend was a super cool video that I'll get going on 3D chalk art and uh, it, it just had some really cool perspectives in it. But on 333, they show the three types of three-dimensional drawings, isometric, oblique, and perspectives. The easiest ones are oblique, because you just draw the front view and add the depth, but not very accurate. Isometrics, a little more accurate, but a little more, more difficult. And perspectives are the most accurate, because that's how the eyes really work where they have vanishing points out there and the lines as things get farther away, they get smaller, okay?